Hi YouTubers, welcome to one of my projects, videos. This is another FM transmitter. Um, it was just over a pound, comes with a plastic case and the springs for the battery compartment. And um, it's a similar to some of the other stuff. Let's see if I can pick it up. Where I've started to put the resistors in and the transistors they're marked on the board. I don't know if you can see the capacitors are marked as well. C3, C2 and the coil which is a 5 turn coil which is sitting here. The microphone, the switch and everything else. And uh, it's quite a nice little circuit board. You see it bent the wires over the back. I'm going to solder those up. And it's a transmitter with microphone and um, it operates on the normal FM 88 108 MHz band VHF band and um, I've built other transmitters I've not built one this small uh, this is probably another ideal one for placing up a tree to listen to the dawn chorus and, um, and recording from a, a normal FM radio uh, going on here I've got a battery charger circuit I'm working on I don't know what I'm doing, I've got no information on that and this is a battery bank sitting here, that's another project. Uh, keeping quite busy at the moment, I haven't stopped since uh, New Year on projects and um, we'll see how we get on with this one once I've sold all the components in. Well I've put a few more components in, a few other capacitors, just turn it around. Oops, so small you could easily drop it. Hopefully it'll come in focus, focus. Uh, yeah, there we go. There's still some capacitors to put in. There's one, two, three, that I can see. Four capacitors, I think. Yeah, four capacitors and microphone and the battery terminals. Because this fits in this little box. Like that, and it acts as a. Come on, focus. Yeah, that's a battery box as well. These kits actually are, are better quality than because you used to buy kits about 10 15 years ago, and they're a bit the circuit boards were a bit rubbish. But these, I'm very impressed with them for the money. This is the small FM transmitter complete. Uh, they're a bit of a toy and um, the FM band is quite congested with local radio stations. So I should imagine this was actually designed before the FM band was congested with radio stations so it's more easy to tune without conflicting with those stations. Now you can there's not a lot of tuning you can do to change the frequency other than the coil here is to spread the windings or close them up to change the frequency. Um, when under construction, when making one of these, um, the microphone, the little microphone, um, needs to be put in the board and soldered in the right way around because it's got a positive and negative connection on it and it's very difficult to identify which is the negative. So the best thing to do is to hold your test meter on continuity and put one lead on the metal shiny case and then find the negative lead that way to solve it in the board because it's, it looks identical from the back. Um, the only other thing is when tuning in on an FM radio don't go for a self-seek type radio just use one of the old fashioned ones with a, a knob you turn and the pointer goes up and down the dial. It's far easier to find them up the band. And um, the other thing is, how do you know it's actually working? Well, for me, it's quite easy. I've got one of these ghost detectors. Let me just demonstrate it. When the transmitter's working,
you get a blooping on this little test gadget called a ghost. And this is a small detection device designed to detect hidden cameras and microphones. And as I say, when you press the button, I'll switch it on. That proves it is actually switched on and transmitting this bit of kit. I'll switch it off. Put the ghost on it again. Nothing. So this works extremely well for testing little transmitters. Um, really, these little kits, um, I don't come with batteries. I come with a case, a battery holder and everything to build it. They're a bit of a toy, and um, but they do work. So it's up to you. And um, even squeezing the case will actually change the frequency. And putting the case on will change the frequency as well. So I'll bear that in mind when you're trying to tune it. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like.